Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having an awesome day. So, a little known artist, you've probably never heard of her before. Uh, she released her newest album. It's called Madam X um, by Madonna. I don't know if you've heard of Madonna before. She's fairly new. Just kidding. She's the queen of pop. Let's be real here. 14 albums in. She has been in the game for so long. Um, you know, the 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s. I wasn't even born yet when she burst onto the scene way back when. Uh, so here we are 14 albums later with Madam X, the highly anticipated album. Um, I'm really excited to get into it. I mean, it's Madonna. She, through her life, has been through so much controversy. She has sung it all. She has seen it all. She has uh, penned so many notable hits. Um, and like I said, you only need to go back into her catalog to hear all the controversy, all the sexuality, all the politics of her songs. Uh, very meaningful, very powerful. She is definitely an icon. Um, so Madam X, here we are. Uh, there are 50 tracks. I have heard a couple of them already. I have heard the first track, uh, Medellin. Medellin, is that how you say it? <sighs> Please no witch hunts. Um, featuring Maluma. Uh, I heard a brief snippet of Dark Ballad, which is track number two. I also heard Crave and I Rise. Um, and there's also a little bit of an editor's note here. Um, apparently the inspiration for this album was when she was on a trip to Portugal and she was engaging with a lot of people from Brazil and Spain and whatnot. And here we are with Madame X. Um, and I could definitely see the influence with the album artwork and the titles of the songs and the features. I mean, this is going to be a very interesting Madonna album. I have not heard a Madonna album in full before. This is my first one. I'm listening track by track. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get into the music. <laughs> Okay, so that was track number one, Medellin, and uh, featuring Maluma, and I gotta say, it's a good song. I enjoyed it, um, and I will say, this song makes me want to learn Spanish so bad. What a beautiful, what a sexy language. I mean, wow. And a lot of people actually didn't like the song when it was first released because it's not your typical Madonna song. But I actually enjoyed it when it first came out. A lot of people didn't like it, but pfft. anyway. Um, a good way to kick off the album. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Really a dope song. Um, a lot of fun to dance to. Anyway, let's get to track number two, Dark Ballad, which I have heard a brief snippet of, but I have not heard this whole track in full yet. I can dress like a girl. Okay, so that was track number two, a Dark Ballad. I went on a bit of a journey listening to that song. Okay, very interesting. Um, you know what? I've always enjoyed quirky songs like this. Well, it's not quirky. It's just, um, this is a very interesting song. Um, and you know what? I enjoyed it. Is this a song that I would continuously listen to? No. Um, but it's, you know, art. This song is art. I imagine this whole album is going to be art. And who am I kidding? Every Madonna album is art. Um, every Madonna album has a theme. Every Madonna album tells a story, I imagine. I haven't listened to a whole Madonna album before, but I imagine there's some kind of story being told here through track by track. Um, so it's Dark Ballad. I enjoyed it. Um, it was very interesting, to say the least. Um... Now let's move on to track number three, God Control. I 
Okay, so let's track number three, a God Control. Uh, at six minutes, it's a pretty lengthy song, but what can not deny the political undertones lyrically to this song? Um, obviously it's very politically driven, um, but it's backed up by this, you know, heavy dance beat. Um, and I enjoyed it. Probably my favorite track on the record so far. Um, God Control. Um, I know I always say when I do these first listens, I'll say, you know, this is my favorite song so far, or at the end of an album review, I'll be like, these are my favorite songs, but it's only my first impression. Oftentimes, I'll give you my input of what my favorite song is on an album, but then I'll shut off the camera, I'll stop recording, and I'll listen to the album a few more times, and then my opinions change. So a song that was initially my favorite song when I did the first listen might not be anymore, um, or a song I initially disliked is maybe a song I'll end up liking. Um, it's just a case of having to listen to the songs um, a few more times to get a feel for them. But so far, my initial impression is God Control is probably my favorite song so far. Um, anyway, so let's move on to track number four, Future. Okay, so that was track number four, Future, uh, featuring Quavo. Um, I actually heard this song before. Um, it was pre-released before the album came out. Um, and I remember when I first heard this song and I actually wasn't a fan of it. Um, I probably won't really listen to it again. I just think it's kind of boring. I don't want to say that, but honestly, this song doesn't really interest me. Uh, it's probably a song I would skip in the future. Anyway, so that was track number four. So let's move on to track number five, Batuka. Okay, so that was track number five, Batuka, and again, a very interesting song from Madonna, and I gotta say, so far listening to this album, um, I feel like this isn't an album that's gonna have, you know, the number one singles, it's not gonna have the bops, it's not gonna have, you know, the catchy tunes, it's more of artistic expression, I feel like, you know, I feel like Madonna isn't really reaching for that number one, she isn't really reaching for all those bops that we want, she's more so just vocalizing different viewpoints and different things that she has seen in different places throughout the world. Uh, she's growing, even though she's a mature woman, she's still growing, she's still learning, and this is just another um, form of expression for her, and um, I can appreciate what she's trying to say and what she's trying to tell us when we're listening. I feel like this is more so an album I would kind of sit down and listen to. It's not an album I would like get up and dance to, which is okay. You know, we had the, uh, you know, the dad's, you know, the dad's hits for her already. We had the dad's albums and um, this is more of a, an interesting take on, you know, some other, you know, things that uh, she has seen and heard over, you know, the span of her lifetime. Anyway, enough of that rambling. Uh, let's get on to track number six, Killers Who Are Part- 
So that was track number six, Killers Who Are Partied, and I gotta say this is probably one of my favorite tracks so far, more so for its lyrics and what Madonna is trying to convey in it. Um, she's kind of trying to represent a lot of um, different minorities, a lot of people who are underrepresented, a lot of countries, a lot of ethnicities who are being hurt and being attacked in the world. Um, she's saying, you know, if um, you know, I'm gonna be Africa if Africa is burning, um, I'm going to be gay if, you know, a gay person is being, you know, victimized, I'm going to be Islam if something horrible is happening to Islam, I'm gonna be a woman if a woman is being raped, so if all these horrible things are happening to different countries, different people, she's gonna be those people and she's gonna represent them. Um, so that's why I like the song so much. Um, any, I, I love this album so far. I love the messages. I love the lyrics. It's not an album that you, you know, get down to. It's not an album that you would, you know, necessarily have fun to. It's more so an album you kind of listen to and you kind of appreciate uh, what she's trying to say. Uh, that's why I like it. Um, so now let's move on to track number seven, Crave, which I've heard already. I'm tired of being far away from Okay, so that was track number seven, Crave, featuring uh, Sway Lee. Um, and I gotta say, when I heard this song for the first time before the album was released, I didn't really care for it. I was like, eh, I kind of moved on from it. But now listening to it in the context of the rest of the album, I can appreciate it a lot more. And I enjoy it now. Um, it's not my favorite track on the album by any means, um, but it's still a good song. It fits in with the rest of the album nicely, which I like. Um, so now let's move on to track number eight. Crazy! Oh my god. So it's track number eight, Crazy. Um, it was good. It's not one of my favorite tracks on the album. Um, it's, you know, kind of in between for me. Um, it's good for what it's worth. Again, it fits in nicely with the rest of the album. Um, is it a track I would go to automatically when I pull up Madam X on my iPhone, on my Apple Music? No. Um, but it's good. You know, it's whatever. It's good. <laughs> um... Now let's move on to track number nine, Come Alive. Okay, so that was track number nine, Come Alive. Uh, probably one of my favorite tracks on the record so far. Um, yeah, there's nothing really else to say about it. It's a really good song. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, track number nine, Come Alive. 
Um, so that was move on to track number 10. Okay, now it's track number 10, Extreme Occident. Um, another song with slight um, political undertones to it. Um, another solid track on this album, Madam X. It flows with the rest of the album. Um, it goes with the theme of what she's trying to say on this record. Um, so I can appreciate it um, lyrically. Um, yeah, it's just another good song on this record. So let's move right along to track number 11. So that was track number 11, Faz Gustoso, featuring Anita. And I enjoyed listening to that song. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, you know, it's nice to get a song like this, you know, a little bit of, you know, your body moving after we've been, you know, listening to a lot of these more um, lyrical, more politically driven songs. Uh, so yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, it was nice to listen to. So now let's move on to track number 12, Bitch I'm Loca featuring Maluma. <laughs> Thank you. So it's track number 12, a Bitch I'm a Loca featuring Maluma. Um, I didn't have as much fun listening to that song as I thought I would. Um, and it's really interesting because this is one of the more upbeat songs on the album and I didn't really care for it, which is surprising. Um, to me anyway. Um, it's good. Um, it's just not the greatest song on the record. Um, but I'm actually really dicking, uh, dicking, oh my god, I'm digging Maluma, um, he has such a sexy voice, he's such a sexy guy, um, I'm definitely gonna have to dig into his other, uh, material. Anyway, um, let's get into track number 13, I Don't Search, I Find. Is it me or am I getting Vogue vibes? Just plays. So that was track number 13, I Don't Search, I Find, which was a good song. And it's a song that doesn't really go with the rest of the album, I feel like. It doesn't really go with Madam X. I feel like it's a little oddball. It's, you know, kind of the black sheep of the album. It sounds like a song she would have released back in the 90s. Um, and I actually enjoyed it. Um, really cool, really good. A lot of fun. Um, so now let's move on to track number 14, Looking for Mercy. We only have two tracks left, oh my god. Track number 14, Looking for Mercy. Every night before I close my eyes, I 
So that was track number 14, Looking for Mercy. Um, I enjoyed that song. Um, again, it's not a song I would go directly to if I was to pull up Madam X. Uh, but it's good to kind of wind down the album. It's a good track to wind down this album with. Um, so yeah, that was track number 14, Looking for Mercy. And now we have made it to the last track on the record. Track number 15, I Rock. Okay guys, so that is that. That is the end of Madam X by Madonna. 15 tracks, uh, 1 hour and 5 minutes was the length of the record. And I gotta say, I enjoyed it. Uh, but like I said previous, it's not a Madonna record we have come to know. It's not dance heavy, it's not something you'd hear in the clubs. Um, but she has a lot to say. Um, 14 albums into her career, and I feel like this might be a highlight. I enjoy listening to it. Again, it's not an album you would dance to, it's more so an album you kind of just sit down and appreciate, um, lyrically. Um, a lot of political undertones on what is happening in this world. I feel like this album is a good product of its time. You know, it's referencing a lot of what's occurring in the world and whatnot. Um, and she has lots of insight, a lot of experience on her travels and people she's met. Um, and I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed the message and I enjoyed the theme of the record, Madam X. Um, so my favorite tracks are, um, probably Medellin and Dark Ballad. I also liked Gun Control, uh, Killers Who Are Partied, and I liked Come Alive. I also liked Faz Gustaso, and I liked I don't search, I find. Those were the highlights to me. Those were my favorite tracks. What were your favorite tracks? Did you enjoy this album as much as I did? Um, what were your favorite tracks? Have you ever seen Madonna live? Um, I have never seen her live and I feel like I really want to one day. Um, so yeah, leave your input. What are your thoughts on the album? What are some artists I should check out? Let me know in the comments. You can find me on Apple Music, you can uh, check out what I'm listening to right now. I have some playlists on there. You can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, happy Pride, because it is June. It's Pride Month. It's maybe Pride Week in your city. Um, have a safe and happy Pride, and thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.